What is up, you guys? I just woke up about half an hour ago. Um, I believe God wants to um, wants me to share this video. Uh, no, I didn't have a rapture dream or anything, if that's what you guys are thinking. that When I just said I woke up about a half an hour ago and I say God wants me to share something. No, um, but... Uh, I do, in fact, want to, by the way, wear my Suunto Vector watch. Um, and my father's class ring. <clears throat> I literally just chugged a Bang Energy drink um, to try to fix my sleep. Nah, I'm not going to try to fix this fix my I'm falling back into energy drinks into caffeine addiction so if you guys could pray for me to get delivered out of that again that would be good it screws around with my mental health like crazy bang energy drinks if you guys don't know they're the highest amount of caffeine caffeinated energy drinks out there uh with uh I, I think uh with uh caffeine content of 300 mg of caffeine and the non-carbonated ones are the bang energy teas um, the tea ones, um, and I literally just chugged it in like 15 seconds and, and that was like five minutes ago and I'm already feeling the rush of caffeine. So it's not, it's, it feels like a, it, it makes you all jittery, like really jittery. And it kind of brings like, uh, I want to say anxiety much, but it kind of makes your, you know, the feeling of adrenaline rushing through your veins. It's like that, but like constant. So it's not that good of a feeling, but my body was like, oh, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. And I was like, oh, fine, 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 fine. And yeah, so it's, uh, ew. I've never drank in more than one of them though. If I drink more than one of them, I would die. So, um, in a day. Anyways, um, fixate, fixate your eyes on Jesus Christ. What does that mean? Well, his word says, draw near to him and he will draw near to you. So, how do we fixate our eyes on Jesus Christ? We fixate our eyes on Jesus Christ when we... Not only our eyes, but our hearts, too. When we think about him on a daily basis, read his word, um, start having the desire to help people more, and live for Christ more. Now, you won't have... The, the feeling of faith uh, building up in your heart right away, but the more you do this, it could take like a day, but the more you do this and don't stop, don't give up, just keep doing everything, make up your mind that I'm going to live for Christ, I'm going to get rid of all the crap in my life and um, I'm going to live for him with all my heart. With all your heart, meaning uh, the best that you possibly can um you you will start to have the desire to turn away from your, uh, anything that's wrong that you know is wrong whatsoever to do um you will have this feeling of faith in in your spirit being built up and that, when that starts happening, it means that you are growing closer to him. But here's the thing. It doesn't happen right away. When you start fixating your eyes on Jesus, reading his word, praying to him on a daily basis. It doesn't happen right away. But it doesn't last. It doesn't last if you stop either in order to keep doing that to keep drawing closer to him 
you have to keep doing it. You can't just do it and then go back, you know? it. Then it's kind of hard to explain. Um, but when you grow closer to Jesus, you start feeling it in your spirit. Uh, it's the Holy Spirit um, building you up in your faith. And you're growing closer to him. And then you don't want to do the things that you used to do that were bad. Um, well, you didn't eat, you did it anyways, uh, if you're a true born again, uh, Christian, but you, you have this desire to turn from anything that you think might be wrong to do. Um, and then he will start revealing stuff to you that's in your life that you don't want, that he doesn't want you to be doing. Like, um, when I was doing this, um, he revealed to me that he doesn't want me to watch horror movies. So I, I barely do. The only ones that I basically have watched was ones that aren't technically horror films. Like Cloverfield, which is an alien movie. Um, the other horror movie that I've watched, though, that is a horror movie, unfortunately, that I stumbled into was the Scream franchise. The Scream movies. Um, and those are not good to watch either, because those... <clears throat> if you don't know what Scream is... It's basically a movie within a movie, um, and it's a, they're copycat killers uh, creating their own movie by uh, having recording cameras in their ghost face masks, recording them stabbing people to death. So uh, they're making their own movie, and uh, they don't mention mention that they would post it on dark web, but I'm guessing that's what they would do because they're making their own movie of them stabbing people to death. So you're watching them. It's, it's all fake. Yeah. But what it represents, because that really, that stuff really happens in real life. So, um, so God gives me this desire in my heart. It says steer clear of those movies yeah, I used to watch Saw. I used to watch Final Destination. If you don't know what Final Destination is, um, they're, uh, so basically death, um, has a design or something like that for them. And the, the people accidentally cheat death by like, I, I you have, to, no, I'm not going to say you have to watch it, but, um, They cheat death, and then death comes back to them uh, in unexpected, accidental, unpreventable ways. And it's extremely gruesome and everything like that. So uh, that's definitely a horror film. We all know what Saw is. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I used to watch all that stuff, but it kept desensitizing me. And when it was desensitizing me... I didn't have much conviction or remorse for sin anymore or the stuff that's going on in the world. Um, but when I stopped watching that stuff, I realized after a while, I started realizing like, wow, how demonic and evil was that stuff that I was watching? Like people getting chainsawed in half and everything like that. I'm like, wow, I can't believe that I was so blinded by Satan that I didn't think that there was anything wrong with me watching that stuff. I mean, no, it's it's just wow. Like, seriously, just wow. Um, but God has pulled me away from all that stuff. The only thing that I am still having trouble with in my life right now is... Lust and like lust, like uh, my mind going and um, 
wanting to think about, you know, like, women nude and stuff like that. Um, and also, um, caffeine. Energy drinks. So, um, yeah, um, that's the only things that I'm having trouble with more, uh, more so, however, with caffeine now. Um, I haven't had one drop of alcohol since September of last year. I haven't had any clonazepam or uh, Xanax class kind of pills Clonazepam or uh, clonopin, uh, anti anxiety since, uh, or benzo since November of 2021. Um, if you guys don't know, I've mentioned in some of my videos before, I don't know which ones, um, but I used to have an addiction with uh, clonazepam and I was taking like handfuls and handfuls of them since, uh, as long as I can remember, um, the last time I took them was November of 2021, and I took 17 of them at once, I've taken 24 of them at once, I've taken 36 of them at once, I've taken, uh, 40 of them at once, um, not suicide attempt or anything like that, but because... Well, some of them were. Um, I had a strong addiction with them. Um, yeah, I had a 90, 90 uh, quantity of them before, and they were gone in less than two weeks. Um, my body had a very severe tolerance for them, meaning I could handle a lot of them and alcohol, too. Um without, um, losing consciousness or anything like that, um, or, uh, you know, dying. But if you, here's the thing, if you have a high tolerance for crap like that, for, like, drugs or alcohol, you can ingest so much of it that's more than normal and more than humanly basically possible, um... You know, I used to drink three and a half to four bottles of 750 ml bottles of wine a night. Three and a half, four of them. Um, to get severely drunk, it felt awesome. It felt great. Um, but that's that was because my body could handle so much of it. But that's even worse, though, because if you have that huge tolerance for it, it will kill your liver even faster because you're ingesting a lot more of it. It will kill you even faster. So I haven't had one drop of alcohol since September of last year, no clonazepam, and I can't get any more either. I came clean to my psychiatrist back in November of 2021 about them. Um, and a few months ago when I got a new psychiatrist, I actually mentioned to her, one of the first things that I said to her when I met her was, don't put me on any anti-anxiety benzos because I will, if you don't know what they are, they give you a buzz feeling. Um... And like, like you drank three beers in a row or something like that. It kind of could be like a buzz tipsy kind of feeling, but it only lasts for like half an hour. But my body with the addiction, everything kept taking them multiple times a day, even like 10 at once, 20 at once, the 30 at once. When you take that much more of them at once, the buzz doesn't go away. Um, it, uh, it goes away, but not. It, it kicks in faster, but it still lasts for like half an hour. So, um, God has shown me tremendous ugh, adrenaline pumping way through my veins like crazy. Sorry about that. Um, God has shown me tremendous mercy in my life. 
and love. I don't deserve any of his mercy. I don't deserve any of his love. But he's shown me it and given me it anyways because of how much he loves me. And he loves us all. I'm not bragging about that because, I one, I wouldn't brag intentionally about that. But two, it's not bragging because it's it's the same for everybody. God doesn't love me more than he loves you. He doesn't love you more than he loves anybody else. God loves everybody the same unconditionally more than we could ever love our parents our children our animals or even him so don't ever it's a lie from satan if you think that god loves others more than you that's that's not who god is god loves you unconditionally and once you realize that and believe that with all your heart, it will change your life forever. I hope you guys enjoy this powerful message.